All right, folks, uh, we've got our first question. For those of you who don't know me or what I'm doing here, uh, my name is Phil Coppola. I'm the regional sales manager for Genetech in the great state of New Jersey. And uh, I am basically answering all of your questions that you may have ever had uh, about Genetech, uh, little features and functions, how things work, uh, just generally related uh, Genetech Security Center questions uh, or non-Genetech related, just security industry questions. I've been in the business for 20 something years. So if you have questions about the security industry in general, hit me with those, uh, hit me with those questions. So we've got uh, our first question from, uh, from one of our end users and they ask a visitor management question. So once a visitor is checked out, can we search by a custom field other than first or last name? The answer to that question is yes. But in order to do that, you have to create a custom field. So let's take you through that process. We'll create the custom field, we'll uh, check a visitor in, and then we'll search based on that visitor's uh, answer to the custom field. So let's, uh, so let's jump right in. So here we are in, uh, in Security Desk. So this is just the plain, plain Jane monitoring task. Uh, I'm going to jump over to Config Tool because before we even think about doing a search, for, uh, for a custom field, we need to first create a custom field. So how do you do that? We go to System, General Settings. Right here we have Custom Fields. And you can see I have a custom field here called Reason for Visit. So you would just click Add an Item right here. I'm going to modify this one just to show you how I did it. So the Entity Type, you have to select Visitor. So uh, actually, let me just show you one from scratch. So uh, you have a number of different uh, aspects of Security Center that you can associate a custom field with. In For this particular question, they're asking, can I search uh, the visitor management uh, segment for specific custom fields? So in order to do that, we have to apply this custom field to the visitors group. So that's what we did here. So entity type is visitor. What type of data do you want to input? I, uh, I want this to be a text-related field, and the name of this field is Reason for Visit. And then I'm going to make this a mandatory field. In other words, I cannot proceed with uh, adding the visitor unless uh, this field is, is, uh, is enabled. And then down here, who's able uh, to see these, these fields? So I am logged in as the administrator. I only have an admin account on here, but if you had, you know, receptionist, security, whoever, uh, you can add them here. So, you know, I'll add my first responders group so they'd be able to see this. Let me save it and close it and hit apply. Now, when we jump back over to security desk and we open up the visitor management task, so we'll add a new visitor. Let's call him Phil Coppola. So I'm going to be visiting for the day. You see that there's already 12 potential matches. So I've been here quite a bit. I'm going to select the last one. So there I am. We'll select it. Uh, there's me in my picture. It's going to ask you when this uh, credential is active. So you want to set a specific time. So it will be from now, 11.04 until 8 p.m. tonight. We want to add a credential. We'll choose automatic entry. And we'll select the front door reader, which is right behind me here on my demo kit. So I'm going to credential in. There you go. So now this credential is assigned to me. I'm part of the visitors group. I can include an email address if I wanted to. I can, uh, you know, apply a, a visitor host. I can require escorts when this person is expected to arrive. But here's our custom field, reason for visit. So the last time I was here, I was testing the air quality. Let's say, um, uh, I don't know, testing for vulnerabilities. Maybe I'm a, a risk assessment guy today. And obviously we have other advanced settings. We could extend grant time, enforce anti-passback rules, set security clearance levels, blah, blah, blah. So we can, uh, we can do a bunch of stuff there. So we're gonna go ahead and save and close. So we see Phil Coppola is now checked in. If we come back to the monitoring task, we can see we are monitoring in tile two. And if I present my visitor pass to, tie to the front door, we see Phil Coppola has access granted on that door. So now that we see all of that working, right? So we checked the visitor in, we filled out the custom field. Now, how do I search based on that information? Come back to Security Desk, 
we're going to run the cardholder configuration report. And in here, I'm going to run it on the visitors group. And I'm going to turn on custom fields. We're going to add the criteria reason for visit. So the system knows this is the custom field associated with visitors. And what are we going to search for? Well, how about the word testing? Generate the report. And there you go. Testing for vulnerabilities. So uh, there's your answer uh, to the person that asked the question. My name is Phil Coppola. I'm the regional sales manager for Genetech in the state of New Jersey. If you have uh, other questions that you'd love answered, hit me up uh, either on uh, LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, Twitter, uh, as well as just email me, Phil uh, Coppola, that's P Coppola at Genetech.com. Uh, I hope this was informative and I'll see you on the next one.